Welcome to the FIFA World Cup match-to-match -match variation in physical load. In this week and in this video, we are going to show you how you can take the data that we provided for this video. There is a Tableau workbook that's in the zip file and there is a Excel um, document that contains all the data you need to create the visual in front of us. So we will delve into how you connect to that workbook. So you need to download the data, put it in a given folder that you would like, call it Tableau uh, CPD or Tableau Development, whatever you want, Sport Horizon if you want. And we need to connect the Tableau to that given sheet. So you can either just use the one we have or you can create a completely new one. I definitely recommend you to open a new Tableau workbook, completely new, then open this one and try to replicate all of that yourself. So let's jump into the Tableau and show you how to connect to the Excel so you can use the one we have provided. And then I'll quickly just show you some of the key objects that we have put into this visual, how you can do that yourself. And after that, you can just play around and do whatever you want. Once you are in the Tableau workbook. You will see this visual behind and you'll probably get a pop-up screen saying that you need to connect to the data. Probably saying edit connection or something like that. If it doesn't come up, follow the steps I will show you now. If not, if it does, just press edit connection and find the file location that you've dropped your Excel document in. If you haven't done that, and it doesn't come up, you can select data source, simply come here, edit connection, and then you will have the pop-up window showing you all the locations you have in your, in your computer or Mac or PC, and you can select the folder that you have. So find the file, select OK, and you can connect to this data yourself. Once you've done that, you should be able to play around and work with this view. The first thing we will have a look at is some of the objects that we see inside here. This is simply a text box that's got the following details. You can play around yourself. It's just a, a text that's been applied out here that you can input yourself. The same for all of these, all just text boxes. The same with this and this. Some of the other ones like this is a blank with a layout and a background behind. This one, however, is a picture. So this one I've created in PowerPoint. So I go to PowerPoint, save as a picture and just import a picture. Obviously you can change the size and everything and the layout yourself. If you want a little bit shadow behind, if you want a border around, do that yourself in PowerPoint, no problem at all. The same for this one. This is just a logo as a PNG that I've saved. And same for this one. So they, they are all just pictures. The one that might be more interesting, oh, sorry. Obviously the background as well is also created in PowerPoint and is simply a FIFA background. You can see the name here at uh, the bottom of the item hierarchy of what we have in, in this view. And you can see the FIFA background is a PNG that I've just created in PowerPoint. So let's jump into how we created this visual quickly. So what I've done is that I've split by countries. So I have the country code and you simply pull that into the columns shelf and then you need a dual axis. So you need two uh, charts in this one. You need a normal bar chart and then you need a circle. So what you do, you simply just Start, for example, with this one. You can hold control and just move this one here and you have a dual chart. So we need to have them overlapping. So we'll just simply right click, dual axis, and they are now overlapping. Although they are the same type, so we just need to change one of them to a circle. You could, of course, change it to something else if you would like to have it as a shape instead or a line or whatever you prefer. I would like to have it as a circle. 
but we're still missing something. Now it's just showing an average still, which is not what we're looking for. And also we can see that this one is so showing 118, which is the same as this one. However, they are not aligned. So if we just select, oh, sorry, if we change this one to black, so we just can see them better, you can see they have different axes. So we just need to make sure we synchronize the axis. They are the same, there we go. And then we need to split the circle on a higher level of granularity. So this is just average of seven games, I believe for Argentina. What we need to do then is just pull the match ID because this is unique for every single match and put it on, onto the details. So split the average total distance by this unique ID. And there you go, you can straight away see that this has been changed. We can change the color, for example, to yellow. And that's how you play around and create this bar chart. After this, you can of course play around with the formatting, the colors, the size, whatever you would like. And that's how you create this one. If you've got any questions, please comment in the sections below. Drop us an email at info at sporthorizon.co.uk or if you have anything else that you would like us to cover for free, any content that you would like us to explore, please let us know either in the comments, drop us an email or reach out on LinkedIn to either myself, Johannes or Kieran. See you soon.